Now, if we want to have um, more details about a single resource, we could use like uh, get node-ojson or -oyaml, but the output is not super easy to read for a human. So we can use describe. I can use kubectl describe node node one. And um, it's a little bit longer. Um, so it, it's even more information than kubectl get dash o wide. And it's telling me how many CPUs I have, uh, how much storage, uh, memory, how many pods I could run on that node. Uh, and here it's also giving me a list of the pods running on that node. Uh, I have, for instance, a pod called etcd node one, cube API server node one, cube controller manager, cube proxy, cube scheduler. Um, you, you might recognize here the components of the control plane. So in the clusters that we have, and this is specific to how we deployed them, by the way, uh, the components of the control plane are running on node one inside of pods. This is specific to how we deploy them, so you, you might deploy differently and then the control plane might be invisible or it might be not in pods or whatever, but in our clusters, the control plane is in pods on node one. And describe uh, lets me see that. 